Hey everybody, I posted an article earlier today on flying taxis and the reason why I posted that article is so that you can get a sense of some expressions, some common expressions that are used in everyday language. One of the secrets to learning English is to understand these expressions and where are you going to find these expressions but in the news and in the articles they are used more often than you think in this particular article i found at least seven or eight different phrases that uh, the author uses but uh, we use in everyday language as well um, here's a couple of them hail a taxi um, uh, you know, that's calling a taxi. When I hail a taxi, I'm sticking my hand out and I'm calling for a taxi. People do this every day in uh, New York. They're doing this in Los Angeles as well. A lot of people calling Uber now, but hailing a taxi, very common expression. I'm going to hail a taxi. Uh, feeling saucy, uh, feeling a little sexy, feeling a little flirty, common expression. Uh, the first foray is the first attack. The article is talking about this car company designing a car and its first foray is to introduce this specific car into the market. They call it the first foray. Uh, another phrase is pulled back the curtain. Uh, when I pull back a curtain, I reveal something, I show something. Uh, the author mentions twice in this particular article uh, the phrase, a handful. Uh, I can't remember exactly what it was, but a handful means not too little and not a lot. But, uh, you know, maybe I have a, a handful of, I have a handful of pens right now. Right? I've got a handful, but it's in my hand, of course. But it doesn't necessarily have to be in the hand. It could mean um, you know, more than a little bit of something, a handful. You know, a handful of people liked this uh, comment or liked my post. Uh, pigeonholed is another one. Um, we have a restaurant here called IHOP. IHOP, when you think of IHOP, the International House of Pancakes, you always think about breakfast. Well, they didn't want people to be thinking about breakfast. They didn't want to be pigeonholed about only breakfast. Now they're thinking about burgers and they want people to think of IHOP as burgers and lunch and dinner, not just breakfast. They don't want to be pigeonholed. They don't want to have people think just only one item. They want to spread it out. Uh, these and a lot of other phrases are in this particular article. I encourage you to read the article again. If there is a phrase or a sentence you don't understand, copy it, paste it, bring it back here, and we'll have a discussion about it. I believe one of the best ways you can learn the English language is by reading articles, reading the news, because a lot of these common phrases will be introduced in these articles. Uh, explore it a little bit. Thanks for taking the time to listen, and I'll talk to you soon. Peace.